when you home roll cigars, um, you start learning your own little tricks. Like one of mine is just doing a pigtail on the end rather than cutting a cap and getting it to go on and finishing it, trying to make it look beautiful. I just put a pigtail on it because they're going to dry out anyway. At least you, you want them to be about 70% humidity before when you smoke them. So you're going to cut this end off anyway. So why get, spend all that time making it look fancy? And in fact, many, many years ago when cigars were just starting, they used to use pig roll. That was the way they, they sold them. <laughs> so I discovered on a video and a kit that I had sent away for before I went to Cuba to see the cigar rolling techniques and stuff and, and look at tobacco leaf and get a handle on this. Um, one fellow sold this type of a board with, with a sheepskin pad on it and I said to him what do you use that for and he said well I use that to put a nice finish on my cigars when it's a, he was an independent guy he wasn't working for any big cigar company but so I, I just found my old leather last week and I just want to test it and see if it does make any difference and uh, it's kind of neat because you can you, you can tighten it a bit as you roll it and then when you get it where you want it you polish it as he used to say and um uh, so let's see what happens. I, I, it, it's got to do something to it. It's either going to make it look better or worse. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty nice. I guess what the leather does is it evens it out. So rather than using your hand, which is uneven because you're doing it differently, the leather tends to cover it over. And that's a pretty nice finish right there. So I, I can't ask for any more than that as a, an amateur roller and. Uh, It'll smoke just as well. Well, in my excitement to polish the cigar, which is something that's not easy to do when it's so dry in this room. Up here in the north, it gets very dry as the weather gets colder. And when I rolled this cigar, it ripped the sheet. It ripped the, uh, the wrapper, which is a shame, but... As I said earlier, tobacco is very forgiving, and since I'm the one that's going to smoke it, all I did was I took a little pectin glue and patched it up, and, and it'll be fine. It'll dry out, and won't know the difference when I, when I light it. It'll be, be great. So there it is, my wounded cigar.